Welcome to Hollywood, Hollywood Boulevard. We're gonna do a walkthrough and see what's up down the boulevard that looks like there's something going on. Maybe a premiere. These are the four ladies of Hollywood. That's Mae West. Dorothy Dandridge. Anime Wong. And Dolores Del Rio. These are special stars. There are only two or three here. That's Elvis Presley, obviously. And of course, the Beatles. And this is where the Walk of Fame starts. That's right here. And this one is LAPD Hollywood Division. Everybody who passed away in the line of duty. Hotel. That's where the first Academy Awards were held. We'll go inside a little later. This is where the uh, Madame Tussaud <laughs> Wax Museum. We're heading towards the Chinese. Everything in here. Chinese box, theater. Hoodies, Street vendors. There's plenty of them. They got drinks here already. They've uh, cordoned off. There's some kind of a, a an opening. It looks like. There's Michael Jackson. There's Mickey Mouse. Uh, it's too bad. The palm prints and the footprints have been shut off. Here are the palm prints of all the actors and actresses over the last probably 80 years.
across the street is where they film or tape Jimmy Kimmel, and that's the El Capitan right there. There should be a Disney um, soda fountain, I guess it's called right now. We'll go in there and see what's up. This is the Dolby Theater. Up these steps right in there. We'll go in there right now. In about three months, I guess, four months, February is when the Academy Awards are held. Every single actor and actress, producer, director, etc., they go up these steps to the theater to accept their, I guess, when they're nominated, they're invited, so they have a chance to win, of course, an Oscar, which is a an exclusive club. There's a bunch of stores. Right up these steps. Of course, during the Academy Award, one week prior, they start setting up the place and the place is cordoned off. I, you can walk up until the last day and before that. But the day of Academy Awards, you can't even get close to this place. I've been here many times and uh, no way in hell you're getting through unless you have an invitation. Right up these steps and there's the entrance to the Dolby. Right there. That's where they go in. And on the left are a bunch of, again, restaurants, tea room right there. And then it leads to the mall around. And on the right, it's directly to the mall. It's a nice place. Looking down the steps now. And these columns present, they're actually Academy Award winning movies, best movies, for example, No Country for Old Men, which won in 2007, Departed, which won in 2006, so on and so forth, all the way through. We'll go to the mall in a sec. Alright, so this is the Hollywood Highland Complex. It's a mini mall. It's, it's like three or four floors up. But there's something that every tourist should come and see. Is I'm going to show you in a sec. If you go all the way to the back, all the way down that way, you'll see something that you don't have to drive, you don't have to hike, because it's world famous, and everybody must see and take a picture of. But I'll show you guys in a sec. to spend a couple of hours, have lunch, cup of coffee, whatever you prefer, let the kids run around a bit, get wet if they like, if it's summer obviously. It's just a nice place, not only for tourists but lo locals as well. Just 
kick back for a few hours. All right, so we're heading all the way to the back. And I think you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about when I said there's a world famous tourist local movie buff. Whoever you are, you, you just have to take a picture of. And it'll be clear in about 10 seconds. It's kind of clear, but There it is. You can tell everybody's taking pictures of it. It's the Hollywood sign. There it is. Yep, that's the thing. It used to be called Hollywood Land, but something happened and the land fell off or burned or something. It's just Hollywood now. completely blocked off, I wonder what's going on. They usually do that when there's a big bunch of stars coming. Today being Sunday, it's probably at 5 o'clock.
guys, I just asked this traffic cop what's going on, and he said it's the premiere for a Terminator. So I would assume every single guy in it, gal, guy, including Arnold, is gonna come and see the movie right there at the Chinese. That's the rules, but I'm just gonna go in and see if uh, we can take a quick shot. pretty old but it has class it has culture this is where the first I believe the first Academy Awards were held right here correct me if I'm wrong but I think this is it and they've shot many many movies in here including Woody Goldberg's sister act they transferred this into like a church used to hang out, I guess. Charlie Chaplin and company. Very cool. And it's right in the middle of everything. Quick note, this is what they do when someone's about to get a star. They cover it up real well. It's taped, I can't even see who it is. It's my favorite. 